Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. It's me, Steph. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Um, <laughs> today I'm gonna do the 100 page challenge, but with a twist. Usually with the 100 page challenge, what I do is I flip to the 100 page of a book and I pick out a prompt or draw a scene or just get inspiration from the page. You know, kick off the cobwebs of uh, art block or whatever it may be and just draw. But this time I'm going into a book that I have never read before so I'm gonna flick to the hundred page and read it and try and get some context from this but it's gonna be completely random I know a little bit about this book because it's set in the Grishaverse which I did read the shadow and bone the first book of that you can see a book paint over in a previous video um, I'll link it somewhere and yeah so this is set in the same universe but I know it's about a heist and that's about it so I'm gonna flick to the hundred page and find out what we're drawing to Today. So the hundredth page, this is obviously going to be spoilers for me, but I thought it would be fun to try and test it out. It's the only, it's only a hundredth page of like 500, so it should be okay. And if anything, it will give me a little teaser of what's to come. I do know that this book is about a heist, but that's about it. And it, I know it's obviously a fantasy book and uh, yeah, a lot of friends have recommended me this book. So hopefully I will enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Three of them snarling and snapping and tumbling over one of one time. bloody rock in his hand. Okay, that is the hundredth page. Sounds like a pretty actiony shot with this guy Mateus and Nina was it? Completely forgot her name instantly. Yeah, Nina. So there's two characters and they seem to be in some sort of arena. So let's see. Um, maybe I'll draw like some wolves. Um, surrounding this guy, Mateus, and then we'll see. Let's draw some wolves, I guess. I think that's the takeaway that I'm gonna take, the prompt I'm gonna take away from this book. I've been recently working on my character design a bit more, so like I've been trying to branch out and do some kind of different, I hate this page, but I think some good stylization work because I'm trying to change the style a little bit because I want to um, make a new comic, but I really want to have like really stylized characters this time and make them quite simple. So yeah, I've just been kind of trying to do that a little bit and uh, <laughs> I like her face. And uh, yeah, so that would be a good chance for me to do that now and see if I could draw this guy, this Mateus. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna start out by like doing some random faces, I think, for this character. I feel like this is such a good exercise to just get rid of art block because I'm feeling like drawing men and drawing them in strange poses and drawing these wolves and maybe adding a bit of like movement to the page with um, sharpenings and things. So it's been really fun to just draw this page and I'm gonna keep going because I've kind of got that, you know, that little itch, that little like, actually I'm enjoying this, I'm gonna continue and maybe add some different colors and just, I'm, I'm enjoying the way that this is looking, like it started out rough and then slowly I developed what I was doing, like trying to get more like rough kind of character design work, but like poses and just work with that and then also the rubbings, I don't know. It, it's not the best page, but I think it's helping me get rid of that sort of drained feeling that I have a little bit, you know, when you have, um, Burnout, I had that massively just like Christmas time. So I'm feeling it now and I, I, I'm getting into it. Also the poo is looking a little bit rough. Pray for him, send forth some prayers please. He may make it through. Also my finger, I ch massively chopped my finger. So just ignore that, that's embarrassing. But let's keep going. I feel like I've, I've got the bug. I've got the urge to continue. So I'm going to do so. Okay, I have bought out the paints because I want to just, I don't know, do some painting, I guess. I really like this page, a lot of movement and dynamic. And then I drew this guy and I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it anymore. So I'm going to try and like follow what I enjoyed about what I was doing here. And that's kind of like the dynamic poses. 
So I'm gonna bring some more up on Pinterest and just try and like paint them out. I'm just trying to follow the enjoyment of it. So that's a good way to like break out of art block is like you have a lot of pressure if you're just staring at this white page. But if you just think, oh, I enjoyed drawing this guy. So I'm gonna draw this guy and now I'm gonna draw more poses and then I'm gonna bring it into another page. Maybe I'll add some color, maybe I'll add what I enjoy, which is painting, so maybe I'll do that. And that's kind of my thought process with trying to do this now. And hopefully it helps you guys out if you're a bit stuck as well. It's, it's, it's a long process and you've got to have like faith in it because I know like it can be really frustrating to just sit and stare and be like, oh, I'm not feeling it like every single day. So it's kind of annoying, but yeah, I'm hoping that this helps. So I think I'm going to draw like, a woman now because I prefer drawing with women <laughs> which doesn't really make any sense but I'm just gonna paint out like this sort of dynamic pose or more or less in this blue to match with what the page is like doing and we're just gonna go for it and have fun and not have pressure like I know the original title of this video is like oh what can I do with this page from the book but if the whole idea is breaking out of art block then you shouldn't limit yourself to what you think you should get done so just like try and have fun with what you're doing I guess which is what I'm going with today and uh, what I'm doing is blocking out the silhouette of this pose which really helps if you look at the gaps in between her arm and her neck and then look at the shape that her back is making here with her skirt and then her legs here you can see like the negative shapes without throughout the image and that helps to block out a pose for me anyway yeah i'm just trying to enjoy myself a little bit here so i would really love to do like another comic so i'm thinking about doing like a longer form comic this time instead of a short one and i have an idea uh, which i need to just rough out a bit more because i did like I don't know if you guys have heard of nano nano writing, which is um, like in November people write like a whole book basically um, together or as many pa or as many words as they can. And I did that years and years ago, and I kind of wrote like this outline for a story, which I really liked. So I was wondering if I could maybe turn that into a comic because I really like the idea of it, but it needs work, and I never finished it, so I don't really have an ending. Yeah. So that's my full process right now. That's where I'm at. I did want to do that um, autobiographical comic, but I just, I don't feel like I'm in the right mindset to do it yet. I want to do a longer form of like a fictional thing first, because I think that will lead me more into the path of being able to do something autobiographical. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing that thing where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do this project and then getting excited and doing another project. <laughs> so hopefully I can stick to one project and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I've sold out all of the other comics. Um, might order more soon, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many more people want them. I was hoping to do like if in the future somehow I could do a Kickstarter or something or a crowdfunding, but then Kickstarter did that weird thing where they've gone into Bitcoin, which I really don't understand. So I don't know if anyone's heard of that and can explain it to me kind of like this like the expression of this of it if that makes sense um i don't want to do something else Okay, so now from this, I enjoyed certain aspects of this drawing, but I don't like it completely. So I like the background, the color, I like the dynamic pose. So I'm gonna try and do something like this again and follow the enjoyment of what I liked about this painting. And this is slowly breaking me out of art block. I've got a show on in the background, I'm just listening to stuff and sitting here with a coffee. I'm relaxed about it, it's my sketchbook, it's not too much pressure and I think that's the key when you're trying to break out of art block so I'm hoping that this is helping someone out there who's just like, what do I do? This time I'm gonna use a brushed ink pen because I feel like that would help 
the colors pop a bit more. Let's see. I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. Okay, so I would continue painting, but I've got to get this video up today. So basically, we went from the 100th page of Six of Crows to this. That was kind of the final outcome. But the final outcome really is more or less me breaking out of art block and I really hope that this video would help you guys in some way if you're like a bit stuck or whatever like I have been a little bit recently so I hope that this video helps somebody out there and um, I think that it will be really useful hopefully for somebody anyway uh, thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe that would be awesome of you guys and um, hopefully see you next time thanks again to my beautiful patrons if you guys want to check out my patron on our book club this month we are reading The Six of Crows so if you fancy seeing my thoughts on the actual book then uh, let me know let me know or join the club <laughs> see you guys next time bye